Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows series with RTG 50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Welcome back everyone. Here today, once again, we'll be making the impossible thing possible by emulating Red Dead Redemption 2 on our Android device for fucking real. This is the one of the most realistic and still demanding PC game ever created. But to understand how crazy, we are going to test this on a three-year-old powerful Snapdragon 888 chip with Adreno 660. All right, here we are going to test it on the latest version WinLater Glib C. Runs on Wine 916. Here I installed the custom box 64 version 0.31. I already did a video on how to install custom drivers. If you missed that video, check out carts or in description. And on container settings, set resolution to 800 into 600 as possible. Also set the latest custom turnip driver. Set DXVK version to 2.4 with async. Frame rate and video memory is set to default. On wine configuration, set GPU name to GTX 1080. Set max video memory size. All right, on environment variables, Enable DXVK HUD FPS meter if you want. Now to advanced. Set box 64 preset to performance. Set startup selection to aggressive. Save the container settings. Now boot the container system. Toggle to full screen. All right, now go to start. System tools, test direct 3D to make sure everything's working well. Now go to wine configuration set windows 10 version all right guys it's time to test the rdr2 on a mobile device but wait i'll show you the file path where i copied the game let's open file manager storage to download folder so here's the game the game size is to 125 gigs almost the half of the phone storage all these files executables are directly copied straight from the pc because you can't directly install on mobile okay all right let's dive into the main part of the hell All right, guys, the menu got loaded. Let's go to settings. Graphic settings. Here, as you can see, the shared video memory is six gigs. Also here, the resolution is set to 800 by 600. Wait a second, it's horrible to use it as touch. I'll connect the mouse to it. Okay, now it's fine. Here are all the graphics. Quality set to low settings and it's locked to Vulkan by default. Will the Vulkan actually perform faster? Let's first run the benchmark test. few minutes later all right and there we go it's loaded but very slow and laggy like what do we expect and remember this phone only has eight gigs of lpddr5 memory a bit less
Okay, well, we can't even expect more from it. But if you have more than 12 gigs of RAM or above, also with powerful CPU, it works fine. Now let's try to load the story mode of the game. Well, the phone's getting hotter as hell. Also the metal frame around it too. It sounds more like cooking popcorn on it. All right, it's out of memory. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Thanks for watching.